Hello, everybody, and welcome to Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. Happy New Year to you. I wanted to get a video up before the year was out, and I saw this really neat uh, box. I think they call it a Bombay box, but it had a really neat top to it, and I wanted to see if we couldn't model that here in Aspire, and I played around a little bit with the extrude tool and came up with this. So I've got a material block of 18 inches uh, long by eight inches wide. It's two inches thick. Z zeros on the table. X, Y datum lower left will work in inches. Uh, we'll use just standard resolution for now and click OK. And then I drew me a little box here that is uh, 11 inches by 2 inches. And then I the, the box had this little, as you can see, this vector here. It had this little cool, like, uh, Bezier curves here and then came up to a top. So I kind of drew that out using uh, the, the draw curves tool. I've done some other videos on that, so I'll spare you those details. But... I'm going to come over here to the modeling tab now and I've got this vector selected and the extrude and weave tool we're just going to talk about extrude for today but it works really similar to the two rail sweep right only it's going to just use this one vector and it's going to sweep it all the way around the vector utilizing the middle of this shape that I have so the two rail sweep right you typically draw uh, half of the cross section and then you uh, drive that across two rails um, with the extrude we're going to use one vector we're going to use the whole shape and we're going to drive it all the way around the box so we'll click use selection much like we do in two rail sweep we want to create square corners there's no span to sweep it between so we just want it to go all the way around right and we're going to scale to an exact height. Um, I'm going to add a, another couple things to this. So let's scale this to an exact height of 1.5 uh, inches. We're going to add it to any previous components. And we'll call this main body uh, as the component. And then uh, just like with the two rail sweep, you get this new little cursor that has a shape on it and you select the the shape that you want to extrude along this rail and you click apply and just like everything in Aspire is so cool this pops up and isn't that neat I mean wouldn't that look really cool on top of a of a box that had some kind of curvy sides we'll work on that too but I just I wanted to show you the top today because I I really got excited when this popped up so then I said okay now we got that uh, let's go ahead and close that. And so now, as you can see, this is kind of the outline of the shape, right? And then we've got this dead area here on the top. I said, okay, what could we do to dress this up? I mean, this doesn't look bad to have the little lip here, the little edge, but wouldn't it look neat if we could somehow do something across that? So I said, okay, let's do this. Let's come in here. And let's draw us another box starting in the, the corner here. This white area, right, is the area that we're talking about. And so let me just come in here and, and we'll draw a vector that, that covers that up and close that. And so now we've got this, this vector going around here. And let's try the same thing. So we'll come to modeling. We'll use our extrude tool. We have it selected, so we'll go use selection. And now we get that little cursor again that has the shape and you can see the arrows goes all the way around it, right? And then um, we're going to go ahead and make uh, square corners. There's no span again to sweep it between. And this, let's go ahead and scale this to an exact height of one, or excuse me, 0 0.8, 0 0.1875, sorry. And we're going to add that to any previous components. And we'll just call this uh, top detail. Okay, and uh, now we have our little cursor. We're going to select this little shape that I did. I just did a little circle and then uh, made it a half circle. 
and then we'll go apply. And then when we do that, and we come over here to our 3D view now, we've added this nice little rim that goes around the top. So then, I don't know, looks great, right? Feeling pretty good about myself. Uh, all that's cool. And I thought, you know what, though? I think I want to put something there. I want to put like a, a shape or something. So, I don't know. Let's. I had a, an American flag model. So, I stuck that on the top there like that, right? Keep in mind, we've got two inches of stock here. So, I said, okay, pretty happy with that. Let's go make some tool pads. And so, as it relates to the tool pads, there's a couple of options that you can do. I'm going to show you what I think is best and then you guys, you know, play with this a little bit in terms of the tool paths to get the resolution and the model quality that you're looking for. So we'll just go into the material setup and just verify. Yep, we've got a two inch thick piece here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have the model um, be just about a 32nd of an inch below the top of the surface. So if we've got any evenness or anything like that, we'll, we'll capture the whole model there. Okay, click OK, and let's go ahead and do a roughing tool path. I'm just going to use a tapered 3 degree .1875 radius with a 3 quarter inch shank to rough this out pretty quick. Let's go ahead and Z level raster X with a profile pass. Um, let's do profile first. No, let's do... Uh, Let's do profile last, boundary vector offset. We'll take it past 0.3 um, and calculate. And then we will um, come in here and do a finishing tool path. I'll do an eighth inch tapered ball nose. We're going to use an offset strategy so it starts here and then starts coming all the way around the workpiece. Uh, we'll go past it 0.3 and calculate and then I think what we have here is a pretty neat little top that we could uh, put on top of a box let's have a look reset the preview and then let's preview all the tool paths so there it's gonna rough it out and again we're, we're machining the entire block right we started with 18 by 8 and we're just going to machine this entire block out, right? And there you go. Now, if you have a, and did I put one on here? No, I didn't. Let's go ahead and create a vector boundary that goes around there so that we can come over now, select that vector boundary, and just do a profile cutout. Uh, we'll just cut it all two inches. Um, we'll use a half inch end mill. And we'll cut, uh, I don't know, three-eighths at a time. We'll use some soft wood. Okay, we'll go on the outside, climb, cut, and calculate. And then let's preview that one. And then it's going to cut that uh, baby out. And what you are left with, ladies and gentlemen, is a neat little top that you can put up on top of a box. Hey, Happy New Year to you. I appreciate you watching. This is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff.